What's good everybody? Welcome to Life on Beagle Road. We are in the barn today and we are gonna do some shiplap. Just be with me. If you haven't been following along, then uh, this is what you've missed. You ready? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. It is Open your eyes. Whoa. Wait, are you shiplapping the inside of the barn for me? Yes, I am. I'm moving to the barn. If you haven't figured it out by now, I love me some projects. I mean, we are the family of projects. All jokes aside, folks, this is a very special project for my wife, for our anniversary. And uh, I want to do it right. I want to make this barn the sexiest barn you've ever seen. At least a little bit sexy. But don't worry. I'm sure I'll come up with more projects to do in this barn to really make it something you're going to want to hang out in every day. You know, the funny part is, is I don't have to do anything to this barn for Courtney to want to hang out in it every day. And yet here I am out here doing stuff so that she'll hang out in here every day. Whatever. Then it's for me. It's my anniversary gift to do something fun that I love to do. The very first thing I'm going to do in here before we get this shiplap up is start putting in some of the electrical boxes, then drill the holes for the electrical and start running some of the electrical. And then we can get onto the shiplap. Yes! I already cleaned out the barn and I already marked where I want these boxes. So all I'm gonna do is hammer them in. Wait a second. Ah, one problem. I'm gonna need to get three quarter inch board to put right here because I actually want these to protrude to the outside of the wood. If I had to put them right in there, then I'd have this wooden gap and well, that's not gonna work out just the way I want it. All set. All right, come to think of it, this was too uh, much. Gotta go shorter. Otherwise the boxes protrude like this much. We don't want that. Classic Kenny right here, folks, classic. All right, everybody, all the outlets are where they need to be. Now, I gotta drill some holes. Courtney told me that she was gonna drill the holes, but do you see her out here? Is she drilling any holes? I guess it's gonna be me again. I mean, it is her anniversary present, so it only makes sense that maybe I do the work, all of it, not her. Courtney, what'd you get me for our anniversary, hmm? Anything? I could use, uh, I don't know, an X-carve, some sort of wood tool thing, maybe a Glowforge, yeah. Nothing like spending uh, three to five grand on a tool, right? Not gonna happen, folks. Not gonna happen. If you're gonna drill holes for electrical, per se, you've got a couple options. Most people are gonna use a spade bit. I like to use an auger bit. It's faster and kind of cuts a cleaner hole too. So I'm gonna use this. I need like a more compact drill sometimes with these jobs. I'm making sure to go down eight inches from the top. That way, uh, it, when I go to screw things in or nail things or whichever, I know exactly where my wire is. I could put these metal plates on here. I probably should, but one, I don't have them right now and there's a lot of them that I'm gonna need. And two, I mean, as long as I'm not an idiot and I remember that I have to go down eight inches, I'll be fine, right? Life on Beagle Road, you just never know. Spider webs everywhere. Hey look, I did manage to get Courtney out here to help me. She helped me pull some wire, which we forgot to film, but hey, look, there's wire in the barn. Kenny, you realize everyone thinks I help all the time, right? Except you all see, right? I don't know how you think I'm gonna get this. I think I need to get LASIK. can't see. 
Yeah, I'm like, some things I need my glasses, sometimes I need to look over them. It's really becoming an ordeal. Whoo, okay. All the electrical is roughed in. Feel really good about that. The electrical is always the thing that takes the longest. And I sort of didn't even think about that when I got this shiplap. I was just thinking, hey man, we can just put it right up, it's gonna be great. And then I was like, oh, I didn't finish the electrical yet, but we're all good. I have one line ran for the three, well, let me show you. I have one line run for all of the heat lamps. We got one here, one there, and one over there. That'll all be on a 20 amp circuit. Then I have another line ran, which is all of the electrical outlets and a, uh, a fan that's gonna go up there. Because in the summer months, it is hot in here and we don't have any sort of ventilation other than opening the windows and the doors. We need to be able to get that hot air out. So that'll be coming eventually, certainly not right now. <sighs> All right, now folks, it's time for the fun stuff. Courtney was giving me a hard time because she's like, man, every time we do a project, it just takes so long. Okay, Courtney, seriously, I'm doing my best over here. I'm not a professional. I just look really good in overalls and a tool belt. But in all seriousness, it took a while because I didn't want to screw up on the courses. So I want to have as little waste as possible. I've got four 16 long boards and 21 14 long boards. That's pretty much what they had and I just had to go with, with whatever was there. Uh, I marked all my courses, so it's looking like I've got about eight and a half courses. Half meaning I'm gonna have to cut the boards in half and that's gonna go on the bottom row. But I marked the 16 and sevens. Uh, on the ends, I'm gonna do something that helps me kinda, you know, shrink it a little bit. Because otherwise, I would've had to cut the boards in some funky places. I don't wanna do that. And I wanna make it look sexy, folks. It's gotta look good. Gotta look good. So, all that is done and we are ready to do this. Let's go. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is in these corners, I wanna put in uh, like a trim that the boards will butt up against and then I'll come back and I will cover that seam where they actually meet the uh, trim on the sides. So put that in, we'll do that actually around the windows as well. And then All right, let's get this first course in, man. I screwed a cleat in here for you, okay? Mm -hmm. So as we lift it up, you're gonna set yours on this cleat. Okay. And I'm gonna go over there and lift it up and nail it in, okay? Okay. You gonna be okay? Probably. Are you sure? No, but. Okay. had to notch this board out for the two windows. Uh, now I have to put it up. I'm a little worried that it might break on me since it's just me right now. I should wait for Courtney, but I want to get it done. What do you guys think? Am I making a poor decision? Do you think I should stop and wait? I mean, I want to get it done, folks. I'm going to do it. I'm doing it. I'm definitely doing it. Yeah, 
right, folks? Oh, yeah. Who doubted me? Who doubted me? Better not fall. You doubted me and you know you did. But I did it. Woo! just ran inside and I cut up all the pieces for each of these three sections. I thought I was gonna be flying by and then I realized I gotta cut holes for the outlets. Oh well, it's gonna be good. Yes. Beer time, folks. This is beer time. much got all of the shiplap up. The only thing I have left is the bottom row, but I am super excited. I still gotta trim up these windows real quick. I gotta close up all the gaps that are in there, but whoo, I'm feeling pretty awesome right now. I think I'm gonna have a good anniversary. One last piece, folks. One final piece. I am done. I am so done. Woo! Let's check it out, folks. All right, everybody, that is it for today. Thank you very much for joining me in celebrating my anniversary present to my wife. Have a great day, folks. We'll see you on the next one.